Today, we're looking at heated jackets. I'm in the northeast of the United States. These days, the weather is extremely cold. It got low as low as maybe 8 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty cold. So normally, I would wear a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, a sweater, and then a thick outer jacket. That's like at least four layers right there. I saw people with Milwaukee heated jacket and I'm like, whoa, that's pretty cool. I gotta get one. And then I look at the price. It's at least 250 bucks. That's a lot. That's a lot considering that I probably use it for at least one month. For all of the other months, it's gonna be pretty cold, but not extremely cold as in December and January. In getting a jacket that I only use one month for three years for 250 bucks, I don't think it's worth it. Also, this Milwaukee doesn't even come in my size. For whatever reason, it starts at extra large. That's really big. And why on earth is it 250 bucks even though it's made in, that's right, China? 250 bucks for something that's made in USA? That's much more tolerable, I think. And then I went on to YouTube. I saw people making their own jackets for about 60 bucks. Hmm, that's pretty reasonable. I went back to Amazon and then just put in the keyword for heated jacket. And this is what I got. The price is 30 bucks. That's really good. Even if the quality is not as good as a Milwaukee, for 30 bucks, I wouldn't mind using it for one month per year. And then next year, I'll get another one. 30 bucks is not a big deal. And oh look, it'll come in sizes that will fit me, starting from small, medium to large. As you can see, there's a lot of heated areas. One of the buttons is for the front and one of the buttons is for the back. So it's not like you can individually turn on one, two, and three only. When you turn on the front, all of this area will be lit up. When you turn on the back, only the back side will be lit up. For 30 bucks, it does not include the battery. Luckily, the battery is easily replaceable. You probably have one battery already laying around. It uses the standard phone charger. So that's my jacket, medium size. Inside is the uh, aluminum wrapper, I don't know what you might call it. In the front there's the two buttons that you can adjust as mentioned before. On the left hand side there's the USB core. It sticks out from the uh, pocket. Here's a standard USB charger for your phone. Mine is Anchor. Go ahead and just slip it in that pocket. For some reason, that pocket does not have any zipper or button to secure the battery pack. So if you're running too fast, that battery can easily slip out. To power on the jacket, just hold it down for about three seconds. It starts from hot, which is red. I find that with a battery of 10,000 milliamp hour, it will last about 8 hours on medium to low settings. Press it once and it will go to medium, which is white. Press it again and it will go to blue, which is low heat. Press it again and it will go back to high heat. If you press and hold for about 3 seconds, it will turn completely off. Yep, what do you think? Pretty cool, right? 30 bucks? It's a no-brainer. I got one for myself, and then the father-in-law, and then my mother, and then my mother-in-law. I got it for everybody. It works really well. It works as advertised. Hopefully you're warm during this cold winter month, but if not, and you're thinking of getting a heated jacket, this is it. The price cannot be beat, and I would be amazed if you can find something even better at this price point. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. And thanks for watching.